Good morning, everybody. I'm quitting YouTube, y'all. Yeah, for real. April Fools. <laughs> Happy April Fools' Day, everybody. It is the 1st of April, Thursday, April 1st, 2021. And welcome to all of you as we roll forward on bringing the at least the laminate, the trim out part of this job towards completion. And I hope that you are all having a good day. As I said before, not everybody's cup of tea, but it is my life, and that's what I enjoy sharing here on YouTube, which I have for going into the eighth year now. Let's talk about a couple things today that I want to cover. Uh, number one, big changes are coming to YouTube. Probably, probably one of the biggest changes in the history of the YouTube platform. And number two, uh, getting in trouble with copyright strikes and things like that. Let's talk about the first thing first. Let's talk about the big change that's coming to YouTube. Not quitting YouTube, y'all. Okay, calm down. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna sip of my uh, sip of my morning coffee here. I'd let you see my coffee cup, but it's disgusting. It's it's like a contractor's <laughs> coffee cup. Um, for years, YouTube has had the thumbs up and the thumbs down system on YouTube. And I was reading recently that um, somebody had forwarded this to me to this link to, don't know if it was on the Twitter YouTube creators page, but YouTube is experimenting now with removing the thumbs down option on YouTube and I don't really think one way or another about it because on January 3rd of 2013 when I started my channel they gave me an option as all of you do you want uh, comments to show yes and do you want um, your viewer thumbs up and thumbs down to show and I said sure and I haven't fiddled that with that ever since. Now, sometimes I've had record 300 plus down thumbs. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I do get in trouble once in a while. And other times I've had the joy of, of many thumbs up. But I'm not that emotionally invested in that. But I guess the feedback to the YouTube creator team has been that it's starting to lose its relevance now. I know I don't, I haven't been on Facebook in years. I don't really have a Facebook anymore. But from what I remember, they don't really have a thumbs down option. They just have a thumbs up uh, um, option on um, Facebook. So it seems to work okay for them. So maybe YouTube is seeing the light in terms of the relevancy of thumbs up and thumbs down. And what they've done is roll this out on a, on a number of channels on an experimental basis. I don't know what the experiment is. You know, everything's like rocket science. So. <laughs> it's, like, it's like either turn the damn things on or the damn things off. Make up your mind about it. But uh, that's one big change that is uh, coming. The, so look for that. We'll see if that rolls out across the whole platform or not. I guess a lot of people have written YouTube. Oh, I'm getting so many thumbs down. I'm under attack. and uh, It's just not right. It's destroying my algorithm. Whatever. <laughs> you got bigger things to worry about in life. Like your dryer breaking down. Cornholio. There's like a million other things to worry about besides the thumbs up and thumbs down. But it is YouTube, and it is YouTube's life. On the copyright strikes, and a friend of mine reached out this morning about fighting copyright strikes. And, and here's the deal. And here's the simple response to that. Pull this back from the uh, sun a little bit. It's coming around the corner. They're a little chilly this morning. Let me, let me just tear into that a minute. The best way to ultimately protect yourself from copyright strikes is to do your own content at all times. And you might think, well, the clip channels are doing this and the clip channels are doing that and they're getting away with it. Yeah, because they haven't been struck yet by people. I know in my particular case, when I end up on uh, clip channels and things like that, uh, for the most part, it's because the people that have run those channels reached out, hey, Rosie, it's okay if we use 
um, some of your content uh, in a in a coming um, clip feature and I've always been like sure right but it is nice that they reach out um, and do make the effort to ask if it's if it's okay so I think the number one rule though is if it's not your content on YouTube don't put it up even if you think it's parroting, even if you think that you're doing some type of voiceover analysis or something like that, you're always in that um, that yellow zone. You know, green, yellow, red, like traffic lights. If you do your own content, you're always in the green lane. Okay, it might not be um, <clears throat> high traffic video or something like that. But you never have to worry about uh, things like copyright strikes. When you get into uh, discussing, showing, clipping other people's YouTube channels, that's where you start to get into the yellow zone. And the reality is, unless you have express written permission from the person, you're always at risk for that hammer falling. And maybe they don't like the way you parried them maybe they don't like it like what was it maybe they just woke up on the wrong side of the bed that day and just you know what i'm just gonna go to war today and take some people down so it's always do your own content now <clears throat> here's the deal for a lot of people when you do get a copyright strike and if you do want to fight the strike you got to go through a process you've got to you'll get a notification that the video was removed you got a copyright strike you got to go to uh, video school and let me also mention i've never had a copyright strike ever on the channel or one that i didn't ultimately reverse so i'm strike free as far as copyrights go because i use my own content but when you do get that notification you you can if you choose just let the <clears throat> let the strike expire in 90 days which most people do go to copyright school and then you come back or you can fight it like I did before in 2020 when my own video was uh, was struck by somebody else claiming it was a copyright match by uh, YouTube well, I needed to reply to that because it was my own video and a lot of people find it very um, shaky that you have to put your, uh, your real name, your phone number, your address and all that stuff. And then all of a sudden the burden shifts over to the striker when they have that information that now they have to show proof within 10 days that they have filed legal papers to pursue the copyright. If they can't produce that, and in the case of my um, false strike, I knew there was no way this person was going to hire a lawyer and, and show proof of that, nor did I have a video that was not mine. Uh, that was up for the subject of the strike, okay? Now, a lot of people are going to, I don't want people to know my real name. I don't want people to know my real address and my phone number. Well, that's the way copyright works. So you make a decision at that point when you choose to fight that. I'm either going to give my real info and pursue this through because I think I've been uh, unfairly struck or I'm just going to live the, with the consequences of a strike that I will not answer to. So in my particular case, I, of course I answered back with all of my uh, material. Nothing was filed in 10 days. The strike was reversed and well that was that. Relatively easy matter. So you really have to weigh it off and um, you know if you're getting multiple strikes on channel and things like that and it looks like you're yeah you may be liable for sinking or something you know sometimes you got to just step up to the plate and uh deal with it so in that uh in wrapping that up i would say just use your own content as far as what anybody else can do for you in context no it's not going to happen YouTube's like if it affects your channel my channel and I'm writing about it well then they'll address it but if I'm somebody else's channel blah, blah, then it's then it's like they're oh, no, sorry that person has the chance to reach through the creators you know the contact help button and uh, work with us maybe they work with you maybe they don't big decisions to be made anyway boss is calling 
got to get to work today. Have a great Thursday, guys. Thumbs up. If you're not subbed up, please do. The thing's going to be changing soon. It's going to be back on the road for travels and adventures. And I want you here subbed up. I'm not quitting YouTube, y'all. Happy Thursday. April Fool's.